everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be going over the quickest way to complete the scoreboard. Now I did a video on this not too long, but a lot of people have been asking me for an updated version of this and an updated perk loadout and whatnot. So I thought I would do this and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I just want to show I've already completed the scoreboard. I'm not trying to gloat or anything like that. I just want to show you it's only been out a couple of days and using this method is how I was able to complete it. And this method involves using the Holy Fire. You can get this from Beast of Burden, but I do recommend getting it from Reddit if you can. I will link in the description how to use Reddit. Um, the Branding Iron, I highly recommend because you need an instigating weapon for this to work as well. Um, any instigating weapon will do though. You do not need to get this one as long as it has the instigating effect. And we will be using nuker grenades as well, which I will leave a, in a video in the link. Sorry, I will leave a link in the description of a video on how to get the nuker grenade. Okay, so this is the perk loadout that I am using for this. And this is going to be for throwing grenades and using an instigating weapon and using the holy fire. I like to use the holy fire. I just want to point out because it kills the super mutants very fast and the range is just like perfect for doing this and you will absolutely just run through West Tech. So yeah, here's the legendary perk cards that I'm using. Make sure you have the enemies killed with the throne explosive on. That is very important for this. And just to show my points here as well. I just want to say too, I will make a beginner guide for this as well for people that don't have access to fully leveled legendary perk cards. So just be a little bit patient with me and I will make a video for you as well. Because I know not everyone will be able to do this. Now you're going to come into West Tech for the first time. Super Mutants might not be max level at 100 yet. You're going to have to go into the basement and come back up and get them to be a level 100. You're also going to have to have completed the Secrets of West Tech. Again, link in the description to a video on how to complete that if you're not aware of it, which is what makes the Super Mutants respawn. And this is the little route I take. And then you can see I switch to the instigating weapon and make sure I have my grenades selected. I'm sure I'm not the first one to forget to do that. And this is where you're gonna want to throw the grenade and you have the instigating weapon out because that does make the grenade more powerful And just try to throw them where I throw them that room isn't too particular like I just find it so random wherever you throw it in there but this room right here, I try to get it so the little green circle disappears in this corner. You see how the circle's gone now at the bottom? That's where you want to throw it, just so it goes through there and it doesn't hurt you. Run in this corner, and on your first run, you may have to kill that super mutant. And, you know, maybe a couple more. But honestly, the quicker you go to the elevator, the better. And I just want to show, too, if you are taking a lot of radiation damage or you do die, your rads will get reset. So just don't forget, you can come over here and collect some of the toxic goo if you need to. And it will easily get you back to the uh, preferred rads that you need to be, which is at the nerd rage uh, level. And I just want to show, too, say you are using these nuka grenades and they will up your radiation to the point where you have, like, almost no health, like I'm showing here. And a good way to fix this is before you go down the elevator, just highlight the facility and then take a rat away and click the button as soon as your health is where you want it to be, if that makes sense. You can see it's going up, going up. Now I click it and that'll stop it. So you don't have to get it back under that 20% or whatever it is to get Nerd Rage uh, to be effective again. And then when you're down here, I do suggest crouching before you leave the elevator. And you should be pretty safe taking out the Super Mutants. I very rarely die um, when it comes to the Suiciders, especially since I've been using the Flamethrower. So, but just keep in mind too, um, I have dense armor on my chest piece for my... Um, Secret Service Armor, which I am using in this video. And I will cover that in another video that I will link in the description on everything that you will need for buffs and intelligence and all that other stuff. And that's just a whole other video in case you're not aware of all the XP buffs and um, the intelligence and everything that you will need to do in order to get max XP. I will link in the description a couple videos that will help you explain that or help me explain that, including permanent XP buffs and temporary XP buffs. 
Okay, so once you're done clearing out the basement, you will come back upstairs, and like I said, if you're done the Secrets of West Tech, then they will respawn and they will be level 100. Make sure you hit the button first if you really want to go fast and then kill the Super Mutant, and then you'll turn and then the door will be open. Also, I just showed those two spots I pointed to are the only spots a dog will spawn. So if you do this exactly how I'm doing it, you will just get XP so fast it'll be ridiculous. I'm not getting a lot of XP in the video here because I don't even have buffs going. I just did this so I could show you guys how I actually run West Tech. And it, it really adds up all these little things that you do. So that's why I'm just kind of trying to point out everything. Even though that door trick I was just talking about doesn't make a huge difference, it does over time and it's just something you might want to practice when you're getting bored of this per se. Yep, little circle disappearing at the bottom, throw it in, run to the corner. We don't have a super mutant to kill this time, so yeah, pretty much as simple as that, <laughs> as, as simple as it isn't, that, that is it everybody. And I just wanted to show another build here as well that involves the chainsaw or an auto axe in case you don't want to go looking for the holy fire or an instigating weapon or craft nuka grenades. All you'll have to do is find a chainsaw and this build will help you get through the score very fast as well. I will link in the description on where to find a chainsaw and how to get it. And if you do use the auto axe, I want to point out as well, make sure you have the electric mod on as well, because I did include perks in this build that will affect the electric mod. So just keep that in mind if you're using the auto axe. But honestly, a regular chainsaw will pretty much do the trick. Um, this build is extremely overpowered especially for it just being an XP build. And it's extremely convenient. I wanted to show this build too because you don't even need ammo for it. You're just going to have to worry about your gun and your armor breaking, which I did cover you in the perks department. So you should be pretty good. And here is the auto axe. I do recommend a vampire's version if you can. All you really need for this is a vampire's. Everything else is a plus. Same thing with the chainsaw. You might even wanna just try rolling one stars if you don't have a lot of modules and hope for a vampire's. And it's pretty much self-explanatory once you get in here with the auto axe or the chainsaw. You're just gonna to wanna to run around and kill all the super mutants and gather all the XP that you can. Will this be as fast as throwing the grenades of course not but it will still be very fast and it's very efficient like i said you don't even need ammo for this and it will rank you up and get that scoreboard done very fast which is pretty much the same thing because it's the repeatable is what really ranks up the scoreboard fast and like i said too like this this build right here is an absolute beast like you can run around the wasteland and be pretty much safe and kill anything if you have a vampire's chainsaw or an auto axe you can see i just destroyed a behemoth there um and just to show how powerful the chainsaw actually is i just got a random zealots one here with the proper mods on it and you can see like it still just destroys the super mutants so you don't necessarily even need that vampires one but if you want to stay safe and run around out you know side of west tech then i definitely recommend getting a vampires it will not affect your xp though and that's pretty much it everybody. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything because there's probably a video that I can link to help you out. And of course, you know, pay attention to the comments because there's a lot of knowledgeable information there. And again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you destroy the scoreboard. Have a great day, everyone.